Hi, I'm Rob Stocklosa, Application Engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to take a look at what happens on an installation when our TEW app databases are not created properly within our SQL database. The error that you see on the screen is a common error that will show up if you have uh, an inaccessible database in SQL for electrical. The first things we want to check, of course, is the database and the collaborative information. Although the collaborative server is not playing a role in the error we are getting, uh, we do want to confirm that we are connected. The database tab for our server, usernames, and password has more pertinent information for the error that we're chasing. Additional troubleshooting for this type of error, uh, I would request typically on a support call, would be to gather your log. It will help me identify what's going on. In this case, we're missing the tables completely, so we're going to go ahead and unarchive a project. Now, understand uh, if you can get to this point, uh, it's a pretty simple process. Unarchiving a project um, will actually rebuild those tables for you in the SQL database. Uh, because projects, uh, and don't forget what they include, those are our environments, right? This is an environment. So all the libraries uh, required are going to be maintained within this. So we're going to step through the process uh, and again just confirming and understanding what we got here. But all of our libraries, wires, manufacturing parts, um, all that information, classifications for that, databases associated, these are all listed in this dialog. So if you are wondering you know, where something might be stored, uh, have, a, have a go through that wizard and make sure you understand what you're applying here. So I've gone ahead and just gone to the end of the wizard, accepting all the default values. And I would usually confirm that things took place uh, as expected. At this point, as a litmus test to make sure that things were created, right? I'm just going to start a new project using my default ANSI template. And if things did work correctly, I should see a dialog like this where it's kind of finding some data, it's extracting it, and it puts me into a SOLIDWORKS electrical project. To further confirm things worked, I'll access my 2D symbol libraries and confirm that my manufacturing parts library also is associated. I hope this helps. Have a great day.